Hello, Blanca. How are you? Hello, teacher. I can get in to the to the meeting. You could it? Yeah, I couldn't. But but now I can. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Yeah. I send the 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 screenshot to the chat, but but I can I can later. <laughs> I can do okay. it later. All right. So you you sent this to the group right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> because that that was the message the message that shows me the You let me answer to that. Glad you could join us. <laughs> All right. Glad you could join us. You're here already, so. All right. I'm glad you could join us now, uh, Blanca. You're probably having difficulty connecting, right? Or... Yeah, 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 but I can do it. I can do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me see. All right. Well, it's it's almost it's almost ready for. Are you ready for the weekend? Getting ready. It's already Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, right? And hopefully, you have better plans this weekend than last weekend, right? Um, anything interesting for this weekend? Blanca, Thelma? Yes, I, 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 I hope that I can, well, I will go to, to a restaurant in the volcano. The volcano? <laughs> the volcano, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> Well, that's all for me, but I, I will do it uh, in at night. Ah, okay. So, which volcano are you talking about? In, in San Salvador? San Salvador, yeah. All right, great. There's a lot of restaurants in there. All right, so you're going to, it's going to be pretty cool, right? A little bit fresh. Yeah, I love the, that, that weather. I yeah. love the cold weather. Yeah, that would be great being there, enjoying no rain, just a little wind, right? And enjoying the the great food that they have there, right? Well, great. Maybe on Monday you can tell us a little bit about it. See how yeah. you. All right. <laughs> that would be if, awesome. If I have a, a great weekend, I, I will tell. But <laughs> if it isn't. I won't tell anything. <laughs> All right. No problem. And I won't ask either, huh? I won't even ask. Okay, okay. All right. So I'm I'm going to be like, all right, so how's the weekend? If you don't say anything, I'm not gonna say nothing either, right? Because uh, Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, not not every time that we go out we're going to have like a spectacular time, right? There's some time that we go and it's just bad, bad, right? It's just it's just um disaster, right? Let me see, have I ever had that? Oh, yeah. One time I was going to San Salvador, right? And I told myself, nah, well, I'm not going to, I'm going to rent a car, right? Las cosas que ando haciendo, right? I'm going to rent a car, right? And I go rent a car. And because he's a friend and I like that, that car, right? It was a Toyota, it was nice, right? So I said, you know what, rent it to me. He's like, yeah, sure, I'm just going to San Salvador. So I want to go drive, right? I want to drive smooth. And then the tire blows up, right, Blanca? The tire blows up in the back. Oh my Boom. God. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's what I get for trying to, you know, trying to be driving this nice, uh, better car, right? And yeah. I ended up having a flat tire 
in the middle of the freeway, right? In the main road, in the middle of like where, right? It's like there's no mechanics around there. I was like, oh God. So that you have was, to change the 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 tire. Yeah, hold on. Yes, Blanca, check this out. I go to try to change the tire, right? I go in the back, I open, right? I said, damn, right? So I open and I get the spare tire and it doesn't have air. What? Oh I was my like, God. I, was like, I, al I always check my. Yeah, my but because. Perfect. But because it was a friend of mine that rented me the car, I, I didn't check it. I'm like, yeah. So he said yes. And I was like, yeah. So I get it. And I take off like maybe in 10 minutes after we just talked. And, da -da, and then I take off. He gives me the car keys. And and I pay him. And then I take off with the car. So I never really. I That's how you. Well, how and you say? have to call him? You have yeah, to call him? I, I had to um, call him and tell him, hey, you know what? The flat tire. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, where are you, right? And I was like, I don't know these streets. This is like the main road, and you have to give like kilometro numero. Right? And I was like, come on, man. So I had to walk, and I went to some ladies that were selling like fruit in the street, in the main road, and I asked them, where, where am I, right? Where am I? This was years ago. This was years ago, and and I was like. Um, I was I didn't know where I was at because I wasn't familiar with San Miguel, right? I'm from San Salvador, right? But I'm living here in San Miguel. But I Good normally evening. so I hey hello Carla. So I ended up I ended up asking people that I didn't even know. They were just sending on the street where 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 was I or give me a reference. And then he sent another car. He sent me another car with a with another Hi. driver. And I, I took but up. I, at least uh, he he take the responsibility to to change your car. Yeah, but the thing was, yeah, that, that was great, right? But I had a meeting also, right? I had a oh, meeting. Oh my god! <laughs> I had a meeting, so I was like, oh, and I can't be late, and I was like, oh wow, right? So I had a re a meeting with some people, right? Uh, at that time, con quien era esa reunión que tenía? Oh, con Centro Cultural de San Salvador. Yes, I had a meeting with them. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people in the educational departments, right? Con los correctores, and I know different people, the universities also, in San Salvador and here in San Miguel. So I had a meeting with, um, with one of the person that works with the United States in some... Uh, organizations yeah, because they United they States. do they do the the exam or yeah TOEFL. and it was it was um i was like yes yeah, they do the toefl exams there also right and they're the only ones that are because i was like oh wow and i was like i can't be late no puedo llegar tarde esta reunión right it's important people right but he and you this... have to you have to meter la pata <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i was like uh, how can I say, oh, I, I had a flat tire, right? I was like, come on, right? They probably wouldn't believe me. <laughs> but <laughs> I ended up I ended up getting there. Y como es de, de norma aquí, right? If you're late, it normalmente si es en las cinco, a las seis empieza, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, that's, a, I, I, that's a good thing for, yeah. for us. <laughs> had it been somewhere else? At five? At five, exactly, right? So that yeah. was. I if you remember. go to if you go to Japan, you have to be punctual, punctual, yes, yes, punctual. because they they take the the punctuality uh, like a a serious thing. Yes. So you 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 can't play with with that. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. I had like I mentioned a while back that I went to a seminar. And that was punctual, right? People from uh, all over the world, and I managed to speak with them, and and they're very punctual, also. Yes, yes, Blanca, especially Japanese, right? So, so, but at least I made it on time, right? I made it on time, and uh, and I ah, managed to. Ah, but you did it on time. That's I did it. I, I was late, but on time with the with the culture here, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With, with all culture, yeah. Exactly, exactly. All right. So it, it was good. It was nice. 
All right, but thank you, Blanca, for it. Well, hopefully, you. I, I expect, I hope you do have a great time, Blanca, and I hope you you can tell us about it on Monday, all right? On Monday. I'm, I hope that too. Uh, I hope uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's, um, let me take the first attendance, all right? Let me see. Anyone have any plans for this weekend? Anyone have any special plans for this weekend? I think Not I'm yet. Uh -huh. me, teacher. <laughs> All right, tell, tell me about it. Tell us, Thelma. Okay, I, I gonna gonna have meeting with all friends the next weekend. Well, we haven't seen each other for a long time. And uh, I hope can meet with them. All right, great, yeah. great, <laughs> great. <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's, we visit in Metapan City. All right, next great. Next weekend. All right. Okay. Well, I, I hope uh, I hope you you're going to have a marvelous time. I hope so. Okay. Thanks. Okay, someone else has said something? Anyone else? Was it uh, Francisco or who was it? Somebody else wanted to share something or? Good no, in my case, not yet. Not yet? All right, not yet. All Only right. work. Only work, right? Only work. All right, let me see. Okay. Let me take the... Uh, here. Okay, Abigail. Present. All right. Blanca. Present. All right. Brenda. Brenda, okay, not here. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. All right. Thank you. Doris. Present. All right, thank you. Edwin. Edwin, okay, not here. Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Fredis. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Glenda, okay, not here. It is. Okay, not here. Jackie? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? Jarvin? All right, thank you. Jennifer? Jennifer? I'm here. Juan Jose? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Hello, guys. Okay, Hello. Carla? Present. Okay. Let me see. Neftali? Present, teacher. All right, great. Rolando? Rolando? Okay, not here. Thelma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari? Janari? Okay, not here. Alvin. Alvin. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. All right, welcome. Good evening. Okay, class. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Uh, it's 14. Okay, let's um, let's continue. Let me close this real quick for the attendance. All right, let me share screen. 
We're already on December 2nd, right? Okay, can you read the, the agenda for today, please, um, Thelma? Okay, teacher. Unite for inventory. Unit, Tips. unit four. Uh, excuse me. Yes, unit four inventory. Tips for effective inventory. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. Management. How to use so suffixes. Suffice, suffixes. All right. Worship. All right. Today, December 2nd, 2021, with dear teacher, Mr. Henry, intermediate or class 23. Okay, all right, very good. So we only have two more after today, right? Tomorrow and Monday, and that will be it, right? Yeah. That will be it. Let me see. All right. So let me see. Okay, so now we're going to continue with unit four in relation to inventory, right? We're going to continue. That is basically the last unit. We only have two more days after today to complete. And don't forget also to complete the platform, all right? For those of you that haven't finished the platform, try to advance on it, all right? Remember that everything must be turned in by Monday, by Monday. The majority already finished. Uh, homework four, all right? And I already put your grades in the system also, right? Those of you, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of you, all right? That need to work a little bit more with the platform at unit four, homework number four. But the rest of you, um, the other 13, you already finished and I already put your grades in, in the system also. Okay, now, we're going to begin with some of the tips. Yesterday we were talking, I gave you a little small activity, right, that you were supposed to do with, with giving your own small ideas at the end, right? How would you manage an inventory how would you manage it right and i asked you to give me your ideas and we did it here in class i gave you um i gave you time to do it and the majority of you did it and i pretty much responded right if you were here in class i told you yesterday that it was a good activity uh according to your response right and okay um freddy's no problem Okay, I hope you feel better, right? We just stay connected and just relax for today. All right, no problem. Let me see. Okay, let's continue. Who wants to read? This is just tips, all right? It's one of my some tips for you to have, to understand. It's just a little bit of reading, but I'm going to ask the class to, who wants to participate because after this, we're going to do the following page, and then we're going to do, um, let me put this, this, this activity uh, talking about suffixes, suffixes that come at the end of a word. And then we're going to do a small activity in relation to um, individual activity here on how to convert a word with the suffix er. From a verb to a noun. ¿Cómo cambiar un verbo a un sustantivo? Right? From a verb to a noun. Using the same root word. Utilizar siempre la, la, la raíz de la palabra. But we just add a suffix. Okay? Le agregamos un sufijo. To change it from a verb to a noun. Okay? But we will do it 
Don't be like, oh, what? what? No, I'm just giving you the, the activities for today, all right? Preliminary. So be ready for that when we get to it. But for right now, let's go back to the tips, all right? Let me see. I have someone here in the chat. Today I will be a listener. Okay, Alvin, no problem. Thank you for notifying me, all right? I will excuse you for today, you and Freddy's. All right. Okay. Who wants to read the tips? Who wants to begin the tips? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead, Carlos. Okay. Um, for or tips for yeah. effective inventory management. management. Make a plan and then execute. Inventory may okay. Hold may on. Execute. Ex execute. Execute. Uh, execute. Execute. Inventory management. My management. Yes. A continuous, con concentrate. Okay. Effort, concentrated. Concentrated and for effort. And a, effort in a process that shouldn't be handled uh, solely at the operations level, as a successful inventory plan should also in, involve your marketing, catalog, e-commerce, and merchant design. Dicing. Merchandising. Merchandising yes. departments. Mm -hmm. by managing your inventory against a master promotional calendar every wins everyone your, everyone everyone wins your purchase pur, purchasing purchasing yeah very good purchasing uh, team understand when Contact center staff can anticipate increased call volume. 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 Let me see. All previous year's sales uh, forecast to your inventory calendar to be even more prepared for seasonal speaks. Spikes? Spikes. Spikes. No, no. Spikes? Spikes. Yes. Spikes in demand. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. So here, here, class, is some of the key elements that you would need. Maybe there, there are more. There are more, but there are more that can be either beneficial depending on what you're selling. But here it's talking about make a plan and then execute. So you have to be able to make a plan for your inventory and then execute, ejecutar, right? Hacer el plan y ejecutarlo. Execute your plan and always prepare yourself for spikes. ¿Qué significa spikes? What, what is spikes? Seasonal spikes. If I tell you, hey, we're having a seasonal spike, what am I talking about? What do you think? It's like the when the people want uh, to buy the product uh, to the same time. Uh, it's a at, lot of people. At the example. same time. At the same time. At, at the same time. Okay. Okay. It's, it's like that when it's like people. Yes, but when does that happen? When does that happen? Is because if you do, are not prepared for that, no, you when can be when, when, cuando, when, when, when does that happen, Carlos? Cuando pasa eso que dice pico? When does that happen? When you have a list product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I I Good think thing. I have. Okay. Uh, uh, when uh. Uh, is like uh, Christmas. Ah, yes. Huh? All right. Seasonal. Seasonal. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's Christmas, right? Yes, you are correct. 
So Carlos, when does this sales uh, increase? During seasonal, right? For example, Carlos, Christmas or Black Friday, right? Mm -hmm. This is what mm -hmm. it's referring to, Carlos. You were not incorrect, but you were a little bit close. Llegaste cerca, right, Carlos? But thank you for your participation, all right? All right? I agree with you. Yeah, that's, that's better, right? I, I prefer you participate. Prefiero que participen y no decir nada, right? That is always better, right? So very good, very good, Carlos. Thank you for taking the challenge to participate. And Doris, yes, compliment what Carlos said and what Doris said, you have mm -hmm. 100%, all right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Those are seasonal spikes. Seasonal spikes refers to the when people come together at once, como lo dijo Carlos, and then incorporate Christmas or Black Friday or any other um, festivities, mm -hmm. right? For example, in the United States, eh, or if you go over there and you want to go shopping during Thanksgiving, eh, lo que acaba de pasar ahorita en November, with Thanksgiving, right? Día de Gracia, everybody goes shopping the next day, right? Or Fourth of July, the Independence Day, they have big sales, right? Los días de independencia, those are seasonal spikes. Son esos, esos, Esos días que sube, it, it increases the sales, right? So how many how many sales do you think will happen this Christmas? Huh? How many people are going to be selling products? They're selling them right now, right? If you go down the street or any store, they're selling all kinds of Christmas ornaments, trees, everything, right? Everything you can on the street. So those are seasonal spikes all right now um the next part who wants to read the next part i want to participate hey all right great okay one more say please okay use multiple vendors inventory management also means vendor management if you have a high selling items that are difficult to keep into or are planning a promotion that will significantly increase demand. It often makes sense to commission a second vendor for the product, a backup plan. As, as a backup plan. Okay, as a backup plan. Very good, thank you, Juan Jose. Thank you for your participation. Now, um, here the second tip is talking about multiple vendors. It's important. No quedarse nomás con un, una persona que le compra nomás, right? The vendor, the one that you buy the products from. For example, um, if you're sending a, a item that is difficult to find or difficult to keep in stock, right? And the vendor is not, is not giving you the demand, right? For example, if you want to buy... If you want to go buy a product, let me see. Um, what type of product can I use as an example? All right, I'm going to use this. When you go to the store, let's say you go to Super Select, as an example, right? Or any other store, Sarita or, or Boston ice cream or whatever, right? And you go, y usted va con un pickup. Right, you go with a small pickup and you like, I need to buy a hundred. Yo necesito cien cajas de, de, de galones de lado. Y se lo vende, right? Se lo vende Boston, right? Super selectors won't do it. Uh, they don't have it in stock, right? They don't have that many. In Boston, ice cream says, you know what? I will give it to you, right? Y usted se queda con Boston, usted en Boston, siempre, every month, a hundred gallons, and you go home and you stock your inventory and you sell in your, in your community, en su comunidad, o su vecindario, right? You sell it. And then you run out. Se le termina, se le baja el producto, lo vendió, like hotcakes, right? You go back to Boston, right? Porque ahí sabe que ahí va a estar seguro los 100 galones, right? So you go, and then you get, I want a hundred more, the, 20 of chocolate, 20 vanilla, 
50 uh, pistachio, whatever, right? And you load it again. Now, what would happen? Imagínense esto. ¿Qué pasaría? What would happen if you go and you have customers calling you or texting you because you have your business in your house and se le terminó ya el de chocolate, eh, pistacho, right? Chocolate, they're finished. And you're like, okay, voy a dejar que baje un poquito, voy a vender un poco del otro, right? So you're sending off vanilla and you're down to just 10 gallons. Usted ya tiene en su, en su inventory, you have like maybe only 10 gallons total of the, of the 100. And you're like, okay, I'm going back. ¿A dónde va a ir usted? ¿A dónde va a regresar? To Boston, right? To Boston, right? So you go back to Boston. Pero Boston está en mantenimiento ahorita. Han cerrado. What do you do? Aquí es donde viene esta, esta ideología. Use multiple vendors. Don't stay with just one. No se enamore nomás de una, de una empresa, all right? Always have doors open in case something happens. This is the tip that they give you, right? Use multiple vendors, all right? Use multiple vendors. So that way you can always keep a restock. Si no lo tienen allá, lo pueden encontrar allá, right? And no problem, or over there or somewhere else, right? All right. In the next one, who wants to read consistent, constant communication? <clears throat> okay. Go ahead. Consistent, constant communication. A good relationship with your vendors is crucial to your company's success, especially if you outsource any part of your relationship. Okay, okay, any part. Any parts of your retail operation. Okay, retail, retail. Your fulfillment provider becomes your brand in, in, in the eyes of the customer. Eyes, eyes. Your brand in the eyes of the customer. So it's important that they understand your plans for your inventory as well as you do. Okay, inventory, inventory. inventory. All right, very good. Thank you, Doris. All right, here is talking, it's in reference to um, keeping in communication with your, with your supplier or your vendor, right? I mentioned earlier about Boston, right? So when I go there, when yo llegue ahí, right? They know what I want, right? I'm always going to buy a hundred gallons. So we keep a good communication and they in turn are always going to be stocked with extra gallons because they know that a certain time, eh, a tal fecha va a venir Mr. Henry, right? And he's going to buy, so tenemos que tenerle la orden lista, right? So they're going to be ready for me and the only way you do that is through communication, communication, being communication with them, with all your vendors to let them know how you work and what you want to buy. All right, um, the last part. I will try teacher. All right, please do so. Okay, thank you. Create compliance policy. Pol policy? Uh, policies. Policies, policies, okay. A standard operating procedures are critical to making your day-to-day -day warehouse operations a uniform process. Develop policies, develop okay. policies. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, you're doing great. <laughs> okay, develop policies that vendors, merchandisers, and fulfillment staff, staff adhere to Adhere to that way, your products will be shipped, received, stocked, and picked efficiently and accurately without upsetting your inventory count. This can include shipping guides, product specification sheets, 
packaging and stock instructions, building guidelines, and so on. Very good, very good. Thank you, Jackie. All right, now here we're talking about policies, right? Policies. What are policies? Here and there, to create a compliance policy. Create a policy. What am I talking about? What do I mean by policy? Si yo les digo, okay, quiero que ustedes, I want you to create a policy for your inventory. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a uh, políticas. Like a what? Políticas. All right, yes, política, right? Mm -hmm. Policies, políticas. Very good. Thank you, Doris. That is correct, right? Or um, la policía. Uh, there's another word that I've heard in Spanish, right? Uh, I think it's la, la, la policía, something like that. Las policías de la empresa, right? Or las políticas también de la empresa. You can have it in writing or you can do it verbally, right? You can do verbal agreements. You can have agreements amongst your workers right to be like okay this is going to be the things that you need to do with the staff right que staff is el personal right it's the personnel that you use in your warehouse to run the inventory now here it also talks about um uh telma mentioned it yesterday right she mentioned something about sheets right telma Yes, sheets, yes. Right? So yes. here, como puede ver aquí, aquí parece que le escucharon a usted, right? So as you can see right here, specification sheets, right? And this was something that Telma mentioned, right? Para que vea, todavía tengo buena memoria, Telma, right? So you mentioned this <laughs> yesterday, right? So when you work with inventory, it's always good to use some form of sheets, right? Digital sheets. And I think Francisco or someone told me yesterday eh, in physical, right? In physical, I mean, keep something to track, to track the inventories. And everything from a tag, put a tag, put a barcode, labels, those sort of things. And you have to create those policies, right? Esa política, como dijo Dori, en empresa o en su lugar de trabajo. That way you can establish order, discipline, and you won't have products that will be um, either misinterpreted or you give the, pro the customer a wrong product. You never want to do that because then the customer, hey, this is not what I ordered, right? This, and you're like, oh, pero que di, oh, this is wrong, right? So you have to make sure that you have some policies implemented, including between you and the vendor also, okay? También la persona que le va a dejar el producto, right? Or where you purchase it. For example, um, I, I need to make sure that when I pick up the gallons, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use the example again of ice cream, right? I don't want the the gallons to be open or or dirty or stuff like that, right? I want it to be in and nice, clean, and, and ready to be sold to the customer. So you have to establish those policies, all right? And without, the, without distorting your inventory. All right, so this was something extra that I, that I wanted to share with you in accordance to what we talked about yesterday, all right? The four tips. These are just four tips. In case you ever get into the business of selling, it's always good to understand some of these rules and regulations when it comes to inventory. Okay, let's, um, any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre los temas about these four tips? Any questions? If not, we can continue. If you do not have any questions. All right. Let me see. Okay, class, let's continue. Now, now we're going to the book. Let me see. Page. 
page 37 okay Okay, are you here? Hey, there's Jackie with her Christmas tree on. All right. It's always a pleasure seeing that, right? I already put up my Christmas tree. So I have I have mine put up. I said, Jackie, at the end of the day, porque yo no, right? So I said, thank you for uh, for, <laughs> for instigating me, right? For, <laughs> all right, for influencing me, Jackie. All right, thank you for influencing me. So I already put up mine. I put it this weekend, uh, a few days ago. A few days ago, I put it. Put it on Sunday, I think. Let me see. Okay, teacher. Yeah, I, I finally found the bottom part. Right, I couldn't find the the bottom part where you put uh, como la mantilla que va debajo del árbol. I, I didn't have one, so I had to go buy one. Right, so I found one to put there. But yeah. Um, it's nice to see the Christmas spirit, right? El Espíritu Navideño, live, here, present, in the video conference. I can't do it. Yo no la puedo poner atrás, right? I can't. All right. Me estarían llamando mañana. <laughs> so, let me see. But I can watch Jackie's. All right. All right, let me see. Let's go to page 37. And look at this page. This is basically a little more with inventory, right? The whole unit is about inventory. But we're going to do a little bit of reading, a little bit of work, where it says pair work, but you're going to do it individually, right? Individually. The pair work, number three. But let's begin. Who wants to start? Who wants to begin to introduce page 37? Can I teach you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, for number one. Right here where it says. Our, oh, unit, okay, unit four, I will be able to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. Uh, number one, let's start. How do companies keep the inventory, inventory count accurate? And how often should a warehouse keep count? Or sorry, teacher. I will try again. Okay. How often should a warehouse keep count on their inventory? Right. Inventory. Ah, much better. Yes, inventory. Right. Very good. Very good. Now, these are these are questions that. They're like you have to analyze, right? This is part of the of the activity here. There are two questions. How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? How how do they keep it accurate? Right? I think Thelma mentioned something yesterday in relation to 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 a possible answer, right? Um are there other options? Yes. But what do you think, class? How do companies, como es que las compañías tengan, tengan esa accurate, o sea, pretty much la puntualidad del conteo, right? The, the, the accurate count. In other words, if 5,000 products come in and 2,000 are sold, cuando hacen el conteo exactamente hay 3,000 que les queda. O sea, no falla nada. How accurate? Es como... A 100%, it's 100% count correctly. How do they keep their inventory count accurate? How do you think they do that? ¿Cómo es que las compañías no se les pierden las cosas? 
I think by the security, for example, in the in the in the out are the security persons and uh, checking your bag and things like that. And the person that works in the in the warehouse are um, take note the the in the inbound and outbound. Okay, very good, hey, excellent. For example, now I was doing some one inventory and I I put there, for example, the the re, real uh, quantity. Um, I I I put there some cell Zelda. Send us uh, one column, one column by the the in, and one column for the out, and they they do the 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 rest or the plus of the coding and bring me the the right uh, answer in Excel. In okay, Excel. so they use they use Excel, huh? Something, yes. Something Thelma mentioned, right? Uh, the sheets, right? The spreadsheets. All right. Yes. Very good. Interesting. Very nice. So you work with inventory, right, Carlos? Uh, really, no. But but, but okay. we have to to know what spare parts we have for the machines. <laughs> ah, right. Very good. Very good. That's that's exactly right. So yeah. So this is one of the reasons why uh, this is called. Um, este programa se llama Inglés para el Trabajo. All right. This one, because sooner or later, en un punto u otro, van a tocar un tema relacionado a su trabajo. Sooner or later, right? So, very good, Carlos. Excellent, excellent, excellent example. Anyone else that would like to give an example for the first question or an opinion? No one? All right. Let's continue with the next question. How often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? How often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? Is it every day? Cada día hay que contar los productos or every three days, once a week, twice a month, um, once a month? What do you think? Only when, in my case, teacher. Yes, Francisco. In my case, for example, we count the product only when when we receive. Okay. The product. Um. The product is entered in the system for unit. All right. I'm save the information. Okay, but uh, how often? Only when I receive the product. Okay, so um, every week, once time. a month, every year? Mm. Or is it at the moment? The moment you yes. receive? Yes, at the, at, at the moment. Ah, okay. When I receive the product. Okay, so it could be at any time, right? The, yes. the times are different. Okay, no problem. Yeah, that, that's acceptable also because some places are like that, right? It depends when you get the product. All right. Thank you, Francisco. Carlos, you have your hand yes, up. Teacher. All right. Carlos? Yes, teacher. I think that you have to count the product every day because if you are taking and putting a lot of product uh, every day, you need to act. act actually say that every day okay every day to know how how many you have to produce. okay very good that is correct carlos very good carlos just one correction okay you use the word actualis actualis what did you say uh, i i don't know how how to say that <laughs> okay but it can it say actualizar right yes okay Refresh. in english Refresh. in english will be update Update. Up, update. Update. Okay. Update. Yes. update. Yes. I'm going to write it, okay? Quizás algunos quizás 
también quisieran saber yes. esta palabra. Como subir fecha. Yes, you have to update. In other words, eh, no, como tú dices, que no deje pasar días, ¿verdad? So okay. you will have to update. Update yes. es poner la nueva información. That's what it means. All right. Teacher, in, when the, with the apps, we have to use uh, pull, pull up, pull up the, the application. For example, pull up. Pull up is when are charging the application. Pull can, up. Yes. Pull up. Pull up means uh, whenever you're going to open the app. Is that what you're talking about, Carlos? When you're going to use the app? Yes, teacher. Yes, you can use the word pull up. Yes, you can use it. It's it's not used commonly, but it's it's acceptable if you're going to use that uh, phrasal verb when you're talking about apps. Yes, you can use it. All right, thank you for your participation. Let me see. All right, now. Before we begin the reading, there's going to be, if you look at here, there are some words in bold. There are some words in bold, all right? Like manufacturer, manager, and then you have the word manufacture. Hmm. Here you have two different words, and this is what we're going to be focusing on after we finish this page, all right? Let me see. What I'm going to do is, so we will not Stop. I'm going to take the second attendance. Let me see. I'm going to take the second attendance. And <clears throat> I'm going to begin with Abigail. Abigail? Not here? Let me get this straight here. All right. Now, Blanca? Present. All right, thank you. Brenda. Brenda. Not here yet. Carlos. I'm Carlos. here present, teacher. All right, thank you. Doris? Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin? Edwin, not here. All right. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, thank you. And Freddy's. All right. I know you're here. All right, Glenda. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let me put it here. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Juan Jose. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla. Present. All right, thank you. Neftali. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Rolando. Not here. Thelma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Janari. Okay, not here. And finally, Alvin. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. All right, let's continue. All right, let's go back to the page. Okay. Now here we're going to we're going to have two speakers, and I would like a two volunteers who's who's going to be Steve and Anna. Steve and Anna. Who wants to be Steve and who wants to be Anna? I want to be Anna. I want to be Steve. I want to be Steve. Okay, so Jennifer and Blanca. 
Okay. okay. Blanca, you're, you're Steve, and Jennifer, you're Anna. All right. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see, I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables, by the way. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivery from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the credit was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, very good. Now, we have here, you're probably wondering, you're probably asking yourself, 20 wooden planks, and then 20, uh, 200 wooden boards, So what is the difference? What is the difference entre wooden boards and wooden planks? It one says 200 wooden planks were recorded as 20 wooden planks. They are basically pieces of wood. Básicamente son pedazos de madera. All right? Son larguitos algunos, some are used in construction, but one is thinner and one is thicker. Right? The planks, los, padece, los pedazos de madera que son planks, son más gruesos. Right? They are thicker, so se les llaman planks. And the, the boards, they're a little bit thinner. Son poquito más delgados, por eso se le llaman boards. But they are both, ambos son de madera, or wood, or residue of wood, all right? The only difference is, is in the thickness, all right? And maybe a little bit shorter, but they're, they're both pieces of wood. All right, now. El Salvador in Spanish, uh, one is tabla and then another is tablon. Or, exactly. Yeah, tablon. Yes, mm -hmm. that is correct. That is correct. Juan Jose, can you repeat it again for the class, please? Okay, I say that is in, in, in Spanish, well, for example, um, in this case, board, board think, think. And the, in this case, plank is more um uh is too mayor i don't i don't know it is too to what um uh, ancho more more yeah wider wider okay okay in this case is uh the plant the plant yes the planks are thicker and they're wider, right? Yes, that is yes. correct. Yes, that is correct. Perfect, perfect. That is correct. Yeah, because you know a little bit about construction, huh, Juan Jose? <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right. Thank you for for the analysis there, right? For the confirmation in uh in the way we say it in Spanish, right? Thank you, because I didn't know how how to do the Spanish words, but what, what Juan Jose said is correct. All right, thank you, Juan Jose. So that, that, is, that is the difference between those two, the board and the planks. So that way you, you have a better idea of what they are talking about here in the conversation. All right, now, can someone read the pair work? This is going to be individual. So you're going to do this individually. I'm going to read it, pair work. Discuss the answers to the questions below, right? So we have the questions here, one, two, and three. We have three questions. 
What item is Steve looking for? What item is Steve looking for? Number two, who placed an order for wooden boards? Who? So we need to find out who. Who placed the order? Number three, why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? So what happened? I want you to answer these three questions and send it to me, please. Okay, when you finish, just send it to me so I can look at it and analyze it.
Okay, Thelma, let me look at it real quick. Okay, Thelma. Are you ready for my response? It's right. It's or perfect. It's wrong. It's Thank perfect. you, teacher. All right, okay, it's perfect. Thanks. Well done. That is exactly correct. Exactly. Especially with the with the numbers, all right? All right, let me see. Mm-hmm. Okay, Doris, I received it. All right. Remember that, uh, Doris? Yes, teacher. Okay, just a little correction. Okay, you have it. You have it correct. Just a little, a little, a little error. Okay. Can you see right here? Um, right here. Yes. Planks. Planks. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's with a K, with a K. Uh huh. Ah yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You see it. You see the. the right. Yeah. The, to the, the the word is correct, but it's a different meaning, right? It's a different mm -hmm. meaning. Eso significa plantas, right? Yeah. All right. So it's planks. Okay, that's the only error. Everything else is pretty good. Pretty good, Doris. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for doing the activity. Okay, Jackie. Tell me, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. All right, you added something extra on number three, but I will accept it. All right. Uh, that is okay. correct, but it's correct also. Okay, uh, it's like okay, two, two different answers. This one is also mm -hmm. the second one. So very good. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Okay, so at the moment is Delma, Doris, and Jackie. All right, someone else? Okay, Did Carlos. You? Yes, I Please just got you. it. I just got it right now. All right, Carlos, let me add you to, to the activity for today. Let me see. Okay, you're almost correct, Carlos. Te quedaste un poquito a medias, all right? Él está buscando for one, one que. Te faltó el qué, all right? Um, you didn't finish the sentence, Carlos. I would. He didn't. He is looking for a for wooden. Wooden, wooden, wooden is wooden. un adjetivo. Wooden. Yes. Wooden. Wooden qué? Wooden. Wooden. Planks. Ah, okay. Okay. I will add you. I'll add it. Okay, no problem. You can resend it. Okay. 
Uh, the same thing with number two, right? Wouldn't what you did you didn't finish the the second part is good. All right. You can resend it to me. Okay, Francisco. Francisco. Yes, could you please okay. send it? Yes, no problem. I'm looking at it. All right. Very good. Perfect. Yes. If you add the numbers, it's even better, right? Very good. Neftali. Neftali, excellent. Perfect. Okay, let's continue. All right, let's continue. If you, they haven't sent it, you can send it to me. All right, you can send it to me during the class or after class. All right, let's, all right, thank you for your answers and thank you for doing the activity. Those of you that sent it to me already, Let's continue. Now, when on the next part, this is going to be a little bit different, all right? It's not so much grammar, but it relates to the functioning of words, all right? To the functioning of words. Here, basically, it, we're talking about suffixes, all right? Yes, it could be really similar to grammar, but all we're doing is adding a suffix to a word to modify. All right? Remember that suffixes, un sufijo modifica, it modifies or transforms the word from its original meaning. It changes the meaning completely. And it changes the grammar, the grammar, uh, Structure. If it's a verb, it becomes a noun. And we're going to look at this, okay? ¿Cómo se convierte un verbo en un sustantivo? Right? And how do we do that in English? For the most part, we can. We can. And we, I'm going to give you some examples, and we're going to do an activity para que ustedes lo pongan en práctica. So you can put it to use and distinguish how to how to analyze a verb and then convert it into a noun now let's begin this is um it's fairly easy it's not complicated all you have to do is just pay a little bit of attention and apply what you will learn here in class today let's begin with page 38 page 38. At the beginning of the page, uh, can I get a, a volunteer? Let me see. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Okay. Uh, a suffix is a letter or group of letters at add, added. Add, added. Uh, at the end of a word which makes a new word. The new word is most often a different word category from the original word. Very good. And this is what I mentioned to you earlier, right? That the word changes and then it changes the meaning also. So, cambia la palabra y también el significado, right? The meaning of the word changes also. Continue, please, Iris. You're doing great. Okay. Non-fixes make a verb into a non. Add er, er, or to the ending of a verb to make a non. In this case, the nouns 
are the names we use to designate? De designate. Designate. Designate people's occupation or labor. Okay, so here we're going to be looking at words related to the work, right? Related to work, like I mentioned earlier, English para el trabajo, but I have, I'm going to give you extra. I'm going to give you extra. So we can do an activity here. Okay, continue, please. It is. Okay. Bear and non. Manufacture, manufacturer. Very good. Supply, supplier. Distribute, distributor. Manage, manager. Retail, retailer. Wholesale, wholesaler. Sell and seller. Very good. Sell and seller. Very good. Excellent. Now, as you can see, they already gave you a category with verb, right? A category that says verb. So all these are verbs. All these are verbs. And then when we add, when we add, cuando le agregamos, when we add a suffix with er or or, or where's the other one? I-E-R, here, I-E-R, when you have a Y, cuando termina con Y, when it ends with a Y, we normally change it and put I-E-R, all right? Now, there are some, there are some that take a O-R, like distribu distributor, right? Or, for example, um, direct, Direct is the verb. I'm giving you another one. And director, el director, right? Direct is the verb and director is the noun. Um, when you were taking beginning English, begin at the beginning, when you were taking a beginner level English, Cuando ustedes estaban estudiando eh, principiante o beginner English, do you remember what a noun was? ¿Se acuerdan qué quiere, qué quiere decir un noun? Or what does it mean? It's like a name. Okay, it could be a name. All right. Okay. That's one. What else? What else consists? Que más consiste? What more? What other? What else consists of a noun? Okay, you can use name. I have added that. What else? So si yo le digo que es un sustantivo, what, what is it? What is a noun? Yes. The you said you. The sujeto. Okay, it could be a subject. All right, yeah, it could be a subject, but um, okay. Can you in? Can you give me a little bit more specific, Doris? Because the subject can also be a gerund, right? Yes, I am. Un sujeto también puede ser un gerundo. Por eso no puedo decir que cien por ciento un un noun is a, is a subject, right? But yes. you're not you're not incorrect. But mm -hmm. yes, it could be a subject, but uh, that all depends what type of subject. Ahí depende qué tipo de sujeto, right? But uh, yeah, it could be a subject. It could be a subject, but that depends on what type of subject it is. Someone? Mm. All right, it could be a person, it could be a place, it could be a thing, or it could be an idea. All right, eso es lo que constituye un noun. All right, o en español es un sustantivo, right? Si han tomado alguna, algún curso gramatical, 
and you can probably look up the word sustantivo and that that is what the, the translation of a noun into spanish means in case you're probably wondering when we, how do you translate a noun into spanish that's what it means all right so basically a noun is a person place thing or idea all right and the, it says name here but eso viene en la categoría de person all right but thank you carla that is also correct now when we when we have verbs when we have verbs manufacture i manufacture shoes right or the manufacturer that is the noun that is the place or the person if i say for example I direct, like I mentioned earlier, I direct, digamos que yo dirijo el tráfico, right? Let's say I'm in the street directing traffic, right? What is the subject here? Let me write it again. Traffic. The subject? You said traffic? Juan Jose? Yeah. Okay. All right. Close. Cerca. All right. Thank you for participating. But traffic uh, in this case wouldn't be the subject. Right? Uh, can you want to try again, Juan Jose? No, it must. It's not traffic. So, what, what would be the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto de la oración? I. I, yes. yes. All right. It will be I, right? That is the subject. Mm. Right? And what is the verb? Direct. Direct. Very Direct. good, yes. Direct, right? Direct. So, we have subject here, and then we have the verb, and then we have what is called a complement. Right? Yes, the complement, right? The complement. Right. Or el object. And muchas veces también le puede salir algo así como el object, el objeto. Yo dirijo qué. El objeto responde al qué, right? In response to what? Or you can do the complement. Or if you want to be a little bit more specific, you can say the object, el objeto, right? The object. So, Subject is I, the verb is direct. Now here, if I say I am the director, what would be the subject? I. I, yes, very good. Okay, so subject, right? So we have the subject. What is the verb? Um, am. Am. Very good. So am will be the verb, which is the second. Let me put it in space. ¿Qué tipo de palabra es di? It's like connector. Okay, yes. There's, okay, you can say it's a connector, but in grammar, what is the, ¿cuál es el título de eso? What will be the title? Pronoun. Mm. Article. Article, yes. The article, el artículo, right? The article. ¿Qué tipo de artículo es? Indefinite or definite? Indefinite. Okay. Is that true, class? It's an article, right? But what type it's of only one? What is it? It's only one. Okay, but what type of article is it? Yes.
What type of article is it? Hmm? Is it definite or indefinite? The people that indefinite. Think of, mm, is that true? Definite. It's definite. All right. Because it's only one. Yes. Mm, they, not necessarily, uh, Carlos. Not necessarily because I can say ah, I am a director. Y siempre es uno. Yes. All right. De, so it's a definite article. All right. Definite article. All right. ¿Cuáles son? Entonces, I'm going to ask you something. Lo estoy probando aquí. I'm trying to see um, your grammar. Esto no es parte de aquí del currículo. Quizá me estoy saliendo un poco, right? Eh, I'm, maybe I'm going a little bit away from the topic, right? And, but I want to just clarify this, right? Tengo la opción aquí de incorporar un poquito, nomás porque es el tema, right? Now, si este es el definite article, ¿cuál sería el indefinite article? ¿Cuál sería el uh, artículo? En, ah, what, what? Ah, uh, or an. Very good. Yes, all right. Para aquellos que quizás se les ha olvidado esto, quizás aquí pueden tomar una nota, right? A en N se les llama indefinite article. I was confused, teacher. And you no know, problem, but you were close, right? Yeah, they can be confusing, right? This can be confusing. So we have indefinite article and definite article. Esas son las diferencias, right? They both have the same meaning, right? The and a, right? The only difference is that you can use the for plurals, Pero el A y el N no pueden ir con plurales, all right? They can't go with plurals, all right? And if you're probably one or a teacher, pero usted no más puso I and D, right? Se lo voy a poner completo. Para que vean. Okay? Indefinite article is A and N. Definite. Definite article is D. And I'm going to put it in. All right. That's just the definite article. And what would be director? ¿Qué sería director? Director. The noun. Ah, the noun. Very good. Very good. Lo acabo de mencionar, right? The noun. Right? Person, place, Thing or idea. El director es una persona. Yes, automáticamente es un noun. But this is what I want you to see. La raíz de la palabra, the root word, es de originalmente viene del verbo, right? La sacamos del verbo. I direct. Miren aquí. Ven aquí lo azul. Subject y qué dijimos era el verb direct. Pero el verbo cuando le agregamos the OR in en esta instancia ya no es un verb, it's a noun. All right? Ya es algo o alguien. So that is the, <laughs> Jackie, you put like a face like, yeah. All right? That is how we change a verb into a noun. Aquí ya no está funcionando como un verb. La palabra direct or director, right? Is, is working as a noun. The verb here is M. Right? So, let me see. If I write here, ahora, the application, no la aplicación en física, aplicar lo que, lo que acaban de ver. I want you to apply what you, I'm going to write this. Voy a escribir este verbo. Drive. All right. Can someone give me a sentence using this verb? 
Quiero que lo usen como verbo y como noun. I want you to use it as a verb and as a noun. Give me two sentences using this word. You can give it to me here in class. You do not have to send it to me, okay? I just want to see if you understood. My uncle. I am the driver. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Blanca. Uh, Jackie, uh, exactly. Jackie, Jackie. Okay, go uh, ahead. Sorry. No, it, it's your turn, Francisco. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jackie. Um, excuse me. Don't worry, uh, don't worry. Okay, I'm not sure, but I would like to try. Yeah, that's uh, the spirit. Okay, I I am the driver. I am the driver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. For the charter. For the charter? Or no. Okay. Videos, children. For the children. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Para los niños, right? Very good. Now, the word here, what is the, is this word a verb or a noun? A noun. Okay, very good. Now, I, Francisco, with that same idea, I want you to give me the same word again but as a verb. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I am driving. Okay. Okay, you use present continuous. All uh, right. I, I am driving. All right, but, all right. My car. Ok, my car. Very good. Aunque él lo utilizó en present continuous, the main verb is here. Why? Because we're using present continuous, right? Y ustedes se acuerdan el present continuous, right? Cuando miraron basic English, present continuous, el presente continuo, right? So we're using the verb in ing, but M es considerado que hmm. it's a verb teacher. It's also a verb. Uh huh. What type of verb? ¿Qué tipo de verbo? Do you remember? Auxiliar verb. Ah, ahí está. Very good. Thank you. Between Thelma and Neftali. You gave me the complete word, an auxiliary verb. El main verb sería driving, right? And you're using I am como es present continuous. We use subject and the verb to be as auxiliary, right? Está funcionando como un auxiliar. Very good. Now, if I, si yo no quiero hacer present continuous, si quiero hacer present simple. Neftali. Okay, go ahead, Thelma. Present okay, simple. in this in this case, I say I he uh, he is a okay okay uh, verb in verb. He came to drive. Mm. Very good. Repeat it. It's a it's simple uh, using using drive. like uh, okay. to drive drive only. Okay, uh, can you repeat it, okay. Thelma? He, he can, he can to drive very good. Okay, bye. All right, thank you, but Thelma. Thank you, Thelma. Is, but, okay. okay, continue. ¿Le va a agregar más? Mm, in like a, a noun is, He's a good driver. Okay, as a noun. Okay, he is a good driver. All right. 
Very good, Thelma. Just one small correction, okay? Very good. When you use an auxiliary verb, usted utilizó el can como un motor verb, all right? A motor verb. He can, you do not put the two. All right? You can never use can with the main verb and use two in between. So, así sería. He can drive. All right? There is no need to put the two. All right? That's the only observation, Thelma. But everything else is perfect. Okay? Okay, okay. Okay, so when you use can, no se le puede poner el two y después el verbo. Okay? Yes. All right, yes. no problem. Yeah. All right, but very good. The practice makes perfect, right? And you participate, you practice, you learn more or you learn better. Very good, Thelma. Excellent. Eso es, right? So now, let's go to the main session because I don't want to spend too much time on this grammar, like present simple, present continuous, because it's something that you already saw in in your interim in your basic or beginner level right i'm just giving you a little refreshing right aquí nomás para refrescar un poquito right this is all this is what it's about now let's thank you denma and uh, neftali and francisco for your participation here and jackie also let me see all right, let's look at this. Number six, esta parte número seis, no tiene nada que ver con esto, All right? Number six has nothing to do with this part. So I'm going to leave it for, if we have time on Monday or something, lo podemos hacer, all right? But I don't want to jump. No quiero saltar de una actividad, a hacer algo totalmente lo diferente, right? If you look at number six, it's talking about Regresa otra vez a lo que es inventory, right? But I don't want to be like, cambiar la mentalidad de, from suffixes to, to inventory again. So we're going to continue with this activity. Can you read, please, the instructions, Thelma? Okay, teacher. Instructions. Number five. Yes, number five. Okay. Chico, the correct word. Check answer with a classmate. Okay, circle. 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 Very, very good, right? Okay. Circle, the correct word. You have five. Okay. I think aquí, right? There are five sentences. And what you're going to do, just like Thelma said, you're going to circle the correct word. Can you read the first one, Thelma? Number one. Okay. The employees want the manage or manager to organize the inventory. Very good. So what do you okay. think, class? What do you think? Uh, we can do it here in class. No matter what you We're going to do it here in class. You don't have to send it. Relax and just watch the class and work with me. But if I don't get any answers, si no tengo muchas respuestas, entonces, eh, para cuando lleguemos a la 12, entonces me lo van a mandar. But if I get participation, we can do it here in class. What, what will be number one? The employees want the, what? The manager. 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 All right. Manager. Manager, right? Because after, ah, y, y, Another key, I, I'm going to tell you something key here, all right? Algo clave. All right, when you have the word D, cuando ven un artículo ustedes, all right? You see the our article here? When you see the article D, es el artículo, acabamos de, de hablar, right? An article. Si viene una palabra después, no va a ser un verbo. All right? It will not be a verb. 
All right? If you see these two, si hay una selección de un verbo, un noun, nunca va a ir el verb. All right? So remember that. All right? Hay un tip para ustedes. All right? O el a o n. It will not be a verb that follows it. All right? It will not be a verb. Remember that. Okay, number two. Okay. Me, teacher? Go ahead, Thelma. Okay. They distribute or distribute the products, the products all around the country. Very good, very good. All right, so which one would it be, class? Distribute or distributor? Distribute. Okay. Distribute. Very good. That is the verb, right? Distribute, right? Or distribute. Let me see. All right. So if we have a subject, if we have a subject, it will not be a noun. Después de un subject, no viene un noun, viene un verb, right? No todas las veces, pero no va a ir el noun. That definitely will not be a noun. Because they, ellos, ya es el noun. Right? Y sería un pronoun, un pronombre, right? A subject pronoun here, they. So it cannot be they distributor, right? Ellos, el distribuidor, no. Right? Ellos distribuyen the products all around the country. Okay, number three. Me, teacher? Ah, please continue, right? Okay, okay. Number three, inventory count provide research. reassurance. Reassurance to the manufacturer or manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And what would be the answer, class? Is it manufacturer or manufacturers? Manufacturers. Very good. Manufacturers, yeah. Very good. Poniendo en punto lo que le acabo de decir. Si hay un artículo, automatically no va a ser el verb. It will be the noun, right? Manufacturers. In this case, it's a plural noun. Es un sustantivo plural, right? It's a plural now. Manufacturers. Very good. What about number four? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a retailer's store. Okay. Oh, no. By a retail store. Yes, right. All right. Here, it's a, aquí es singular or plural, right? Retail, <laughs> retailers, right? So, it's talking by a, by a retail store, right? Aquí como que se la, se la jugaron un poquito, right? So, here is they're both. Está hablando de una tienda, retail store, retail store. Now, retail, porque no puede haber un plural con un A. Right? No puede decir uno, sí, acá hay una bodegas, ¿verdad que no? So, here is where you have to be careful. They are both nouns, but one is singular and one is plural, all right? A retail store. All right, Abigail. All right, number five. The suppliers needs us to keep track of how much product is left. Okay, the supplier. 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 Very good. Very good. All right. So we're going to circle that. Okay. 
Okay, very good, very good. That is, those are the answers, all right? Those are the answers for activity number five. Now, let me see. I want you to look at this. I have a little small activity for you, all right? And what I would like for you to do, we're not going to do it all. All right, let me see. Can you do it in 10 minutes? Yeah, I think you can. Yo creo que sí. I think you can. I have a little small activity here. It's not in your book. No está en su libro. So you don't have to look for it. Here. All right. Look at look at these verbs here. These are verbs, all right? These are verbs. And what I want you to do is here in this activity is I want you to make it a noun. Va a convertir usted los verbos into nouns. You're going to convert them into nouns using ER or R. No más esos dos. With R or ER. Now you're probably going to say, okay, teacher, uh, ¿y cómo voy a saber cuándo le pongo la R o la ER? If it ends, si termina el verbo in the E, if it ends in E, like you see here, like you see here, bake, it ends in E, so all you do is add the R. No es que le va a poner otra E y otra R, right? You're not going to put an E and another R. You're just going to put the R if it ends in E. For example, drive. All you're going to put is the R, driver, right? Driver. You don't say driver, right? Driver. You just put the R. So those are the instructions. Put ER or R. That's it. But you're going to change the verb into a noun. And this is practice. Let me erase this. Now, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do. Can someone read number one for us? I need that number one. I work in a bakery and I bake bread. I'm a baker. All right, very good. I am a baker, right? What about number two? I'm going to do number two with you, para que vean también, so we can practice. Sam really wants to be a, when Itchy. he grows up. All right, very good. He likes to teach people. He wants to be, I can still verbo teach, mm -hmm. up here, and now we're going to make it into a noun. Teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, I can still verbo teach, and you're going to convert it into All right, into a noun. All right, you have you have ten minutes. Uh, I want you to send it to me. Me lo mandan numerados. Send it number with the number. Empezando con qué? Number three. The complete sentence, teacher. No, only the answer. Okay. All right. If you want to write it all, you can. If you want to, right? You can, but if you want to just send me the answer, quiero ver el noun. I want you to send me the noun. All right? The noun. Remember to put, start from number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? No más una puede ir utilizada one time, but you can only use it one time. If they do not repeat, right? They do not repeat.
all the way to number 16. Number 16. Teacher, I have a question. Sure, Jackie. Um, what happened with the uh, nouns? Oh, well, the words that just have one syllable. For example, blog. Are we going to the add another G? Or just ah, you're talking about, No, that is, that is a great question, Jackie. Right? That is part what you just said is part of changing the words and yes some of them you have to double yes some you have okay. to double all right that is correct and what jackie mentioned right now class is she's talking about doubling the letter hay algunas que si se duplican right you have to add another letter for example um swim do we double the M? Yes. Yes, exactly, right? Yes, that is true, right? Swim, when you have one syllable. Yes, aquí ya estaba, ella está mencionando los syllables. And that's something that you learned in the past. So now you're like, yeah, I remember. Está acordando ya, Jackie, right? That is, yes, that is yeah, right? Like blog, right? You double the G, blogger. Right? You do not say blogger, and so ya cambia el término. Blogger, swimming, or swimmer. Begin, beginner, right? Begin, beginner. Those are words that you, that you double. Babysit, babysitter, right? You have to double the T. Thank you, Jackie, for your input on this. And you're welcome. All right. Okay, there are going to be four words that you will double the letter. Hay cuatro, there are four. Four vocabulary words here that you will double the letter. Que va a duplicar la, 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 la letra. You will double, all right? And a qué me refiero? I'm talking about, for example, blog. I'm just will be blogger, right? So you double the G. Right? A eso me refiero. There are four. And the demás, you have to try to figure out on your own. But I think I gave you enough help already by telling you that there are four words that you will double the letter.
Okay, Abigail, thank you for sending it. All right. There's just one small mistake, but it's just very minimal. Okay. But everything else is good. Remember that you have to use the words that are here. Tienen que usar las que están aquí, right? Do not add your own. You have to use these right here. The ones that you see on the screen. Okay, Neftali. Well done. Okay, class, if you're not finished, you can, you can send it to me after class or you can send it to me tomorrow before class tomorrow. And you can take a screenshot, le pueden tomar una captura and finish it, and, or you can finish it right now while I take the last attendance, the final attendance. Let me see. All right. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Okay. Okay, Brenda. Okay, let me see something. Okay, not here, zero. Um, Carlos? No teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Doris? Present. Thank you. Edwin? Edwin? No, right, zero. Francisco. Yes, present. Okay, thank you. Freddy's. All right, I know you're here. Uh, hope you get better. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. Iris. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. I'm here. Thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando. Rolando. Okay, zero. Tenma. 
Okay, I see you. Thank you. Janari? Janari? Okay. It's no me. All right. Zero. All right. And Alvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. All right, class. Let me see. The person that stays today is Brenda. She's not here. So you have a good night, everyone. I hope you took a screenshot for those of you that didn't finish. And you can send it to me after class. After class. Or tomorrow if you're not finished with it. All right, Jackie, I got yours. Javin, I got yours. Doris, I got yours. And Thelma, I got yours. All right, esos son los que me la mandado ahorita. All right, great. All right, let me write your names before we leave. Thelma, Doris, Javin, Jackie, Abigail, and Neftali. All right. Teacher, I already sent it. Yes, yes, you did. All right, Jarvin. Yes, I got it. All right, great. Awesome. Okay, thank you. All right, Jarvin. All right, so I see you tomorrow, class. Let me see. And you have a great night. And I hope this activity probably refreshed you a little bit with uh, the articles, the nouns, the verbs, and those types of things that you see normally at the beginning when you start learning the English language. And remember that today was basically to understand how to convert a verb into a noun using suffixes, right? Suffix. Okay, class, you have a good night. Take care, and I see you tomorrow. All right? Have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night, good night teacher. Bye. 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 B